Can we have a rampage of sexy, please? Eventually. Can we play with that? You want to go from the dark side? <laughs> so we'll ask you some questions. Sure. Sexy? You're talking about sexy? Yeah. So what is more sexy, limp? <laughs> You're the ones drawing the dirty pictures here. What is more sexy, limp, placid, tired, <laughs> lethargic, or vital, eager, energetic? What is more sexy? Clarity, confusion. What is more sensual? Savoring? What is more fun? Momentum, speed, slowness, tiredness. So, Alignment applies to everything. But when you take a specific subject that is important to you, Napoleon Hill wrote a book years ago, Think and Grow Rich. Jerry devoured the book, bought thousands and thousands of copies, gave them away. But there was a segment in the book, a chapter in the book called Sexual Transmutation. Jerry always skipped over that part with others but what Napoleon Hill knew is that the components of the sexual experience that's the experience that most humans have had personal experience at understanding what true alignment is and what true alignment is is focus co-creating co-creating and focus there's nothing more expansive than that a willingness to set aside all other subjects focus on something specifically and stay there long enough until the momentum carries you to more and more and more and more and more so um, what exactly are you looking for here I want vitality and clarity in other words take it off that subject just for a little bit and find your connection in other words this unconditional love that we've been talking about is about finding the alignment and then find the alignment and then apply it to the focus of whatever subject that you are talking about most people don't do that with any subject and especially with the subject of sexuality what they are doing is running around demanding that the conditions bring them to that place and so it can bring them to a place but it does not bring them to that place you see mm -hmm. it's come into alignment and then come into alignment and then yeah cool I guess what the essence of what I wanted was I so enjoy this physical experience and so much of that has to do with looking at the deliciousness that you know I can look at anything and I can feel the that delight in but feel it. the difference and we know that you can we know that you do and we know that you'll get this and you know that you help us say it in a way that others get it too feel the difference between being there and then looking and looking in order to get there right and almost everyone is looking in order to get there, not finding it, 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 not finding it. So there is a layer of disappointment. There's a layer of yearning. There's a layer of resistant vibration that is muting the true alignment and the true sexuality that you're wanting to feel. The true aliveness, you see, where if you find the aliveness and then you let the materialization, the manifestation come in response to that. Esther was writing earlier this morning and she was feeling the clarity of finding that vibrational place and then feeling imagination coming in response and she actually made a note to herself because she had been believing for quite some time 
that imagination was something that she was to conjure. Imagination, sort of like the rampage that you were reaching for, is something to be conjured in order to affect an emotion. In other words, let me use my imagination to create a feeling and or let me use my imagination in order to affect an outcome. Let me use my imagination in order to create something. And now she's beginning to understand that her work, yours too, is to create the atmosphere that is fertile for the imagination to grow. So she's beginning to understand that thinking, that imagination is a manifestation of having achieved a vibration rather than the tool in which to achieve the vibration. Can you feel the difference? So she's beginning to understand that what thinking is, is receiving, not projecting. That the majority of thoughts are the receiving of thoughts. And it must be unless you think you're thinking the original thought and you're not. You're not thinking the original thought. There is so much thought that is culminating right where you are. What's your reception? Where are you in terms of the receiving of this thought? What have you been doing in order to create the fertility that allows the receiving, the reception, you see? So in the sexual context, what we're really talking about is in every subject, in every avenue of your life, just get some good foreplay going on. In other words, prepare yourself for the receiving. Prepare yourself for the receiving. Don't go forward into anything demanding it or justifying it or explaining it. Prepare yourself for the receiving of it, you see. Think of yourself as the receivers. The thought that you're receiving is a manifestation of a vibrational frequency that you've practiced and allowed. You're getting this, aren't you? In other words, we're right out here on the leading edge and yet you heard and got every bit of this. It'll take a little bit of practice because you are accustomed to going after things. You are accustomed to making things happen. And when you begin studying with us and we say you create your own reality and we call it things like the science of deliberate creation, you then apply your same tactics that haven't worked for you very well out there in the action-oriented world to this as well. And it takes you so far. It takes you a little further than maybe you went before, but it does not take you to the place that you want to go. It doesn't take you to that clarity, you see. Think about it. Think about, in terms of sexual transmutation, think about the feeling of finding that vibrational place and allowing in a sort of effortless way that delicious ease of all things to be realized by you not demanding it not insisting it not forcing it not efforting it just allowing it moment by moment by moment by moment by moment every moment of your experience is a manifestation moment every moment what you're perceiving here, the theater that you are in, the vessel that you're upon, the ocean that you're moving through, everything that you're perceiving, this is manifestation. Manifestation because you are translating vibration into all of this, you see. So as you have soothed yourself into the fullness of who you are so that all of you is having this manifestational moment, feel the richness, the fullness, the wholeness, the depth, the breadth the satisfaction of these manifested moments. So many people are standing in this place, dissatisfied in this way, in this way, in this way. Hopefully, they think, on their way to something that will be an improvement. I will get there. I will eventually get there. You're not ever going to get there. You're there. There's no place else to get. This is where it's all happening. This is the manifested moment. This is the moment. And every single moment of your life can be that climatic moment that you're reaching for at the end of something that most of you make way hard work out of. Way hard work. You can prepare yourself emotionally and vibrationally for the realization of more that is delicious in more moments of your life experience. Every moment a manifestation. Every moment a manifestation. The only question is, how have I prepared myself in the receiving, in the translating, in the realization of this manifestation? How broad is my manifestation? So rather than wanting to reach into 
all of the contrast in the world, the good and the bad and the ugly, the things wanted and things unwanted, rather than feeling like I need to explore the whole buffet in order to know what I'm doing, just find precision in the vibration that you're offering and let what's being revealed to you that you are now realizing, let it be that expanded, that never before realized into all of the universe. That's the climatic moments that you're reaching for when you take all that you are into a new realization that's what you're reaching for that's what creation is mm. that's good we liked it a lot <laughs> yeah. it never goes quite where you think it's going to go does it not quite where you think it's going to go